Hey, beautiful sisters. I'm getting ready to fix some more food. We're going to have, I'm going to ferment some mangoes. So I'm going to just be cutting those up and putting them in a mason jar with a few other items salt and sugar and really that's it maybe i'll have to add a little water and then i'm gonna fix um something in a different video the meal but this mango uh fermented mango is a real good it's something really good to have with your meal to have a couple of bites before you start eating. So I want to make sure that I have plenty of that on hand. So let's get started. All right, I'm back. <clears throat> ready to get this fermenting going. Ready to get it going. Let's see here. Go ahead and last time, those springs made a lot of noise while I was working, so. I'm just going to move those springs out of the bottle so we don't have to worry about that. And then I'm going to show you all this um let me get that turned around. I'm going to show you all this mango gadget that I found. It's really great. Initially I didn't know how to use it, but once I found out how to use it, I'm like, "Oh god." I'm using it constantly. Now we just have to hope, my, my mangoes, they look a little sketchy, I'm not gonna lie. Hopefully they haven't gone bad. All right, so what you do is you just put, you just put the mango in, the, in here, right here. And then this has a cutting mechanism. So you just put that over where the seed should be, and bam, that's the seed. The seed is taken out. So then you lift that back out. Take this out. Oh, good. The mangoes are still in good shape. That's great. And then you take that seed I'm going to put that right here in the meantime. And then what you do is you take this one side of the mango and you just put it right here and it peels it. Now you might have to do it a few times depending, like I had to do it a few times, but is that's why it's so important to make sure the mangoes are nice and ripe because once um, because it makes it so much easier to peel so then that's that one that side then I'm gonna do the same thing over here just taking it out put it in the bowl try it again peel it put it in the bowl these are nice and juicy too. One more time, peel it in the bowl. And this is even be nice if I wasn't fermenting mangoes just to have some nice um, mangoes. So I'm gonna do the same, cut up mangoes. Do the same thing. Bam. Just cut. Put that in there. that in there. Do the same thing. Peel it. It cuts down. When I tried before I found this, I saw it. I saw someone using it either on a blog or video. I can't remember. And I didn't get the exact same one they got because I couldn't remember the name of it, but I just looked it up on Amazon and I got it and it makes all the difference in the world when I'm trying to get these mangoes cut up oh this one turned out good it mostly peeled let's see see that was a big chunk all right and 
try it again. Just whatever pieces you realize are still on there, you just take it on that. You just take it and run it over through here like that, and it'll get it all off for you. Oh, it saves so much time. So much time. All right. Do it again. And I'm so glad the mangoes are not gone bad. I was kind of wondering if they went bad, but they're in good shape right now. So I'm very happy about that. All right. Same thing. Let's see. The first, the very first time I fermented mangoes, I let the firm, I, I, I let the uh, mangoes sit out too long before I cut them up and they all went bad. Like they all went bad. But now I seem to have a pretty good system. I can let them sit for maybe about five days at home max. And then they seem to be in really good shape. We're nice and um, soft but not too soft where they're going bad. So, okay, there's that. And let's see, five, and I had six mangoes, but one, one got a, one did kind of go bad. So I had to go ahead and throw it out. But I have five good ones, and so that's fabulous. That's going to be more than enough to do what I'm doing, do what I need to do. So see, I'm not even touching the knife. The knife is not playing one role in anything I'm doing right now. I will use the knife shortly, but right now, I don't need it at all. All right, let's take that out. Let's see here. Do the same thing. I should have brought a bowl over here. I wasn't thinking. Anyway, let's get that peeled. Ooh, see that? Oh my God, the things that people think of. This is like, I can't believe how easy this is. All right, let's get to this one. Mmm. That's real good. I almost want to take these and make some ice cream or something. So juicy. But I already have frozen mangoes. So I'm not even going to mess with these. They're strictly for fermenting. You see how quick this is? If I was cutting this with a knife, I'd already be... Okay, that one is almost going bad. So what I'm going to do is just cut that whole little section off right there. Okay, so now let's get to peeling it. Oh, yes. Another good piece. Woo. Mm -hmm. Oh yes. Let me go through this one more time. There's a little bit more meat left on there. Okay. Same thing. A little piece here. I'll cut that right off and get busy. 
this machine, this little tool, oh man, is a life saver. Oh my goodness. I love it. Let's put that right here. And that's it. I'm done peeling six, five mangoes. I'll be right back. All right, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take these right back out, put them on the cutting board, and get to cutting them in small pieces. Not extremely small, but in small pieces, because then I'm going to then I'm gonna put them back in the bowl. And then we'll see, we'll start putting them in the jars. This is such an easy, that's what I'm trying to tell y'all about fermenting. It's so easy. It's not a long process. And like with the cabbage, there was no peeling. I was just done. Took it out, washed it, cut it, and I was done. Fruit will be a little different depending on the type of skin. So yes, you see how easy this is? Now I'm just cutting it. And this will ideally make three cups, but by the time I let it sit, put the salt on it, let it sit for a little bit, it might not come up to quite three cups but it's okay it'll make one really full mason jar and I put ginger in it before but I'm not putting ginger in it this time I'm just doing plain mangoes that's it just plain mangoes mangoes oh I said I put ginger in there before I also put cilantro and onions in the very first one I made and it was very good and I might do that one more time I might do that some more but right now I just lately I've just been wanting plain mangoes but you can put whatever you want in there um, I had gotten a red pepper to put in there when I did the mangoes with the cilantro and onions, but couldn't use the onion, the um, peppers that I got. Um, they recommend organic, all organic for fermenting, and um, I accidentally bought a pepper thinking it was organic but it was not so I didn't want to store that in fermenting so you see yeah these are all kind of different sizes of chunks I'm not trying to be super uniform or anything they have the basic same size but it's not anything I'm really trying to stay on top of. I'm just trying to get it cut up. That's the main thing. And I think I'm going to have plenty of juice from this, from these mangoes. Super juicy. Let me know in the comments if you've seen a tool like that to peel, to um, take the seed out of the mangoes and peel it. And if you haven't, what do you think about it? I'm, I'm just in love with it. 
and soon I'm going to put a list of links for everything that I have that I think that will that I think will help you all. Um, I'm going to take some time to do that soon. Okay, so now I've got all this cut up. What I'm going to do now, let's put it right back in there, right back in this bowl. Let me um, rinse this. Let me rinse this off right quick. I'll be right back. All right. So same thing I said the other day. I want to spread the salt. I want to spread the salt on whatever, throughout whatever I'm fermenting. All right, so there's that. And I'm not going to let this sit too long. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to stir this up. But I'm also going to put a tablespoon of panela in here. A hefty tablespoon and that's the sugar that the bacteria that develops in here is going to feed off of and that's what's going to help this particular food item ferment so I'm stirring all that up really good and for people who think they don't have space to do a lot of cooking I have a pretty small kitchen and I just try to make it work uh, you see I'm using my um, stove I've just put a nice thick cutting board on it okay make sure your bottles are clean that's a must. Make sure they're clean. So now, ha! Let me get my mouth, that mouth thing. All right, there we go. So now I'm going to just get in here and use my hands again. Put this in here. Let's see here. All right, now let me take this utensil can you see that yes and we're gonna just smash down some that's so mushy um, not mushy it's not mushy like it's falling it's not turning but it's real soft so I'm not I don't even really need to do that very much here because it's pretty much going down as much as it's gonna go down Unless I do decide I'm going to just mash it up. You know, I don't want to do that. So. Okay, now let me see. You see that filled that up. All right. Uh-oh. Oh, that went in there. Okay, good. So now... I am going to cover this with water and then put that spring in. All right, so we're going to just cover that up to right here. All right, so now just using that spring. Mm -mm. It takes a little bit to get that on, and I sometimes have to twist it from the bottom. 
Okay, so we've got that on there now, but I'm gonna put just a little, just a little bit more water in there because a little bit of the mango is coming to the top. So let me get that taken care of. We don't want any mango on top of the water. Okay, so now all the mango is up under the water and all the mango is up under the water and we're all set on that one. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and put the rest in here. It's not gonna make a full container, but I'm def I'm, I don't wanna waste it or anything like that. So let's just go ahead, put that in there. And this is gonna start showing bubbles. What you can do with this is you can add, you can what they call feed this every day. If you wanna open it up, feed it about a teaspoon of sugar every day. Sugar, whatever kind of sugar you're using. I just started recently using this vanilla because it's really healthy. Um, before that I was using cane sugar, tar turbinado and stuff like this. But it seems like the Panella is the most healthy, so that's the one I use. Let me see. Yeah, there's not just a little bit of juice like that coming out. So I'm going to do the same thing right here. Add some water just to make sure these mangoes are covered. And I'm going to also put the spring, put the spring in there. It's got all the mangoes down the bottom. Let me just be sure of that. All right, there we go. Wow, I need to add a little bit more water because that's an absolute must. The fermenting the fruit and vegetables have to be covered with water. There's no way around it. It will not, it will not, it will ferment incorrectly if it's covered, if it's not covered in water. And now we have two bottles, two jars of fermented mangoes that will be done in about five days. We're going to add a teaspoon of sugar every day until those five days end. All right. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions about this. All right. This is a great bit of food, little something to have on the side right before you break your fast. I mean, right after you break your fast, when you're eating your meal, it helps with digestion, helps with our immune system, and it's delicious. All right. So thank you so much. And until next time, salam.